So hey, what's going on? I wanted to give a quick update in the day in the life of starting my own market garden. So I have a bunch of radishes that are ready to harvest and I don't have any customers to sell them to. So to kind of give you a little backstory, I I have two two options in terms of how I can sell my radishes, which I'll explain a little more in depth in a later video, but um, there's a nonprofit that I work with where they provide my vegetables to local restaurants and grocery stores and organizations that want to buy wholesale. And then the other option is me working directly with like a farmer supply or a retailer that will sell directly to customers that again are going to buy wholesale. Well, the second option um, that I was hoping to get my radishes sold to, um, they have just some concerns in terms of whether or not their customers would be interested and so they didn't want to they didn't want to have they didn't want to make a purchase and and waste the radishes which i can understand so what what i plan on doing or at least what i have proposed is instead of you having to buy right now from me let's build some trust with with your customers and you build trust with me by me giving you radishes that you can give to your to your customers and the hopes is that will build trust and they'll love it which I believe they will and then that will allow me to have future orders with the retailer that I'm looking to work with what I plan on doing is just doing like a mixed bunch of 10 uh, 10 radishes and a bunch and what I have the harvest is these light icicle radishes and then of course I had to come with the French breakfast radishes this is just another way where I can market what I have going on for my my market garden I mean other than the sweat equity and a little bit of cost and you know time that I put into planting the seeds again this is me marketing myself building trust so that I can have future orders and again this allows me not to have what I'm growing waste it it's a win-win scenario for everyone and sometimes again you got to kind of think ahead in terms of what you're trying to do not everything's going to lead to a purchase but I believe if you again build trust and create a situation where you create a situation where they want to be able to buy from you my my goal is to be able to build trust with the retailer so that they will make future purchases from me because they're going to love what I'm providing. That's all I can hope for. So right now I'm just gonna get ready to harvest these guys, get them all washed, bagged, and get ready to drop them off. And then we'll go from there. I'll keep you posted as to how this goes. Thanks for watching and please make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you got any questions or any comments, leave them down below.